Hello friends, today in this video I'm going to describe some important MCQs from Anglo-Norman age which will be very beneficial for net set examinations. So without delay, let's begin with our first question. Normans came from Friends, look at the analysis. The Normans came from northern France in a region called Normandy. They invaded England in 1066 led by William the Conqueror. Here, the right option is number B. Normans came from northern France. Second question. Whom did Normans defeat in the battle? The Norman French army of William, the Duke of Normandy, defeated the Anglo-Saxon king Harold Godwinson. So, the right option is number A. Normans defeated the Anglo-Saxon king. In which battle did the Normans defeat the Anglo-Saxon king? 14th October 1066, in the Battle of Hastings, Anglo-Saxon king was defeated by the Normans. Then, the right option is number C. Normans defeated the Anglo-Saxon king in the Battle of Hastings 1066. Karzar Mundi was written in the year. Karzar Mundi means runner of the world. Is a metrical romance was written in the year 1320. Hence, the correct answer is number B. Karzar Mundi was written in the year 1320. Question number 5. Dash was dominating the Middle English period. The 13th century saw a rise in the popularity of long detective poems presenting biblical narrative, saints' life or moral instructions. Then the right option is number B. Poetry was predominant in the Middle English period. The History of the Kings of Britain was written by the History of the Kings of Britain is a medieval text written by Geoffrey of Monmouth around 1136. Then the correct option is number C. Geoffrey of Monmouth wrote the history of the kings of Britain. The greatest poets of the Anglo-Norman period were The right option is number D. William Langland, Geoffrey Chaucer, John Gower. All of these are the greatest poets of the Anglo-Norman period. Who has rightly been called the father of English poetry? Geoffrey Chaucer was an English poet, author and civil servant best known for the Canterbury Tales. He has been called the father of English literature or alternatively the father of English poetry. Hence, the right option is number B. Geoffrey Chaucer has rightly been called the father of English poetry. Who discovered America in 1492? Explorer Christopher Columbus is known for his 1492 discovery of the new world of the America. Hence, the right option is number D. America was discovered by Columbus. Question number 10. Dash became the master of England, beating the last of the Saxon kings. Friends, in the Battle of Hastings, William defeated Saxon king and became the master of England. So, the right option is number B. William, the Duke of Normandy, became the master of England, beating the last of the Saxon kings. Who were Lollards? The Lollards were the followers of John Wycliffe. He was a Christian reformer who translated the Bible into vernacular English. Then the right choice is number D. The Lollards were the followers of John Wycliffe. The poem A Vision of Pirates the Plowman was written by William Langland emerged in the 14th century. He held a significant place in the history of English literature and wrote many important poems. His most famous poem is A Vision of Pirates the Plowman. So, the correct option is number A. William Langland wrote A Vision of Pirates the Plowman. The most famous and the characteristic work of Chaucer is Written at the end of his life, The Canterbury Tales is Chaucer's best known work. It is a collection of 24 stories told by a group of 30 pilgrims who travel from Southwark to Canterbury to visit the shrine of Thomas Beckett. So, the right option is number B. The most famous and the characteristic work of Chaucer is The Canterbury Tales. Which year was the University of Cambridge established? The University of Cambridge is a public collegiate research university in Cambridge, England. Founded in 1209, the University of Cambridge is the world's third oldest university. Here, the right option is number B. Cambridge University was established in 1209. The finest example of morality play is Everyman, whose author is unknown, is a morality play. The play is about a man called Everyman who must prepare himself for his death. 
So the right option is number A. Every man is the finest example of morality play. In which year was the University of Oxford established? There is no clear date of foundation, but but teaching existed at Oxford in some form of 1096. So the right option is number C. The University of Oxford seems to be established in 1096. Which book did William Caxton print first in English? History of Troy, the first printed book in English was published by William Caxton and Collard Mansion in Belgium in 1473. So, the correct option is number C. History of Troy was the first book William Caxton printed in English. Who is called the Morning Star of Reformation? John Wycliffe has been called the Morning Star of the Reformation because he openly thought many of the things that Luther himself thought in the 16th century. So, the right option is number C. John Wycliffe is called the Morning Star of the Reformation. Chanson de Roland was a famous epic in Chanson de Roland, one of the earliest medieval epic poems, was written in France in about 1100. Hence, the right option is number A. Chanson de Roland was a famous epic in French. When did the Black Death occur in Middle Ages? In the autumn of 1347, a ship carrying the plague came to Alexandria in Egypt, from which it spread over northern Egypt. Then the right option is number B. Black Death occur in 1347. So friends, today we have done some important MCQs from Anglo-Norman age. If you need more such type of videos, then please comment below. Thank you.